He's been on Houston playoff teams as a player and assistant and now a head coach. But his team missed a chance to really blow it open early as they missed the three on one and ending the first quarter. Eddie Johnson hits the three pointer the Sonics within three quick passing here Kenny Smith fires up a three and the Rockets build a 40 35 advantage in the second quarter until Seattle started to run Peyton nice move leaving it for Sam Perkins who scored 11 and did a great defensive job on Akeem Olajuwon at the end of the first half that's Eddie Johnson again with a three pointer and Houston trailing by two Akeem Olajuwon to Robert Ory Ory had 11 the Rockets trying to stay in there in the third quarter when Ricky Pierce and the Sonics took over Pierce coming down with the pass from Nate McMillan and laying it in he scored 23 points in the game 19 in the second half and then in the fourth quarter Eddie Johnson for two more he had 20 a 12 point Seattle lead but Kenny Smith with the knock away and then gets it back at the other end caps a 13 2 Houston run the Rockets within three but the Sonics hang on Sean Kemp who led his team in rebounds gets it to Gary Payton and George Carl's team wins round one. 99 to 90 Akeem blocking five shots but shot just eight of 22 from the floor and Carl throwing a variety of defenders at him Michael Cage who fouled out Kemp Akeem playing 45 minutes We're complaining that the dream gets any call he wants Cage fouled out in game one while Perkins ended with five personals game two back in Seattle Derek McKee waiting and then the no look to Gary Payton Payton had a monster night Sonics up by six Rockets not intimidated Matt Bullard Good. Time running out, end of the half. Otis Thorpe, Robert Ory, and Ory buries it. Rockets by four at the break. Third quarter, back and forth we go. Ricky Pierce, Sam Perkins. Perkins bothered by a sore neck. Three of his 23 there. Sonics by one. Kenny Smith, Hakeem. Hakeem at 28, Rockets by one. Shot of the day. The end of the third. Eddie Johnson for three. Good. Part of a 14-2 Sonic run. Fourth quarter, all Sonics. Peyton, who would have 22, a playoff career high. And the organist right on cue as Peyton scores. And George Carl says the knockout blows. Well, they're up 2-0. 111 to 100. Game three Saturday night in Houston. Perkins, as I mentioned, came into this game with a sore neck. He had 23. Five of six from three-point range. Season award for Akeem, the defensive player of the year. The rest of the Rockets... Turn it up on D. This steal leads to a break. That would lead to a Vernon Maxwell lay-in. Houston by 15 at the break. Third quarter, Sonics on D. Sean Kemp the steal. Gary Payton, who scored 22 in game two, held to just eight. Rudy T looking for a big third quarter when he gets it. Otis Thorpe. He took 14 shots. He hit 12 of them. When the Rockets missed, Hakeem was there. Rockets on a 14-0 run. They outscored the Sonics 27 to 13 in quarter number three. The lead is 76-47. It's over. Final was 97-79. Sean Kemp was the only Sonic to score more than 10 points. He hit for 12. The Rockets shot over 50% from the field. Hakeem scores 22. Robert Ory and Kenny Smith each add 11. Following the game, Otis Thorpe was happy to have something positive to talk about. Game four back at the summit where the Rockets hope to even things up. Why are they the third best defensive team in the league? Kim Elijah won eight blocks on the night. Two in a row here. More defense by Hakeem, not with the block, but with the steal. He takes it the length of the court. Hakeem had 24 points, 12 boards, eight blocks, five assists. Frustration for the Sonics. George Carl in Gary Payton's face for not calling a timeout. Payton gives Carl a mouthful. Peyton would sit on the bench with George the rest of the first half. That's Eddie Johnson draining the three. Sonics again. Peyton, Pierce, and it counts. Sonics down by six in closing. Fourth quarter. The Rockets trying to take control, and Scotty Brooks, the long outlet. Carl Herrera and the Rockets even things up. Taking care of matters on their home floor. Robert Ory, the rookie with 19. Vernon Maxwell had 18. Seattle's front court outscored by the Rockets big men Hoping to keep it that way the swing game and problems for Akeem early look at the way the Sonic defense collapsed on him he loses it and at the other end a monster slam from Sean Kemp sending a message maybe a little bonsai yell there Ricky Pierce warming up in the second quarter setting up for the three and hits for Seattle as they start to pull away 
before the half. Another jumper from Pierce, their best shooter. Again, a three-pointer, 15 in the second quarter. Nate McMillan on a drive, Scott Brooks, some elbows. They get into it. Both players ejected for fighting, and Rudy Tom Jones said, hey, just don't throw any punches. Remember what happened there as the Sonics win this easily, 120 to 95. They set a team playoff record for field goal accuracy, hitting 55%. Akeem did have 25, but no block shots, and Seattle starting backcourt, outscoring Houston's. Two constants have emerged. The home court advantage, each team averaging double-digit victories at home, the other constant, Hakeem, averaging 25 points a game. To the summit in Houston, Sean Kemp coming in off a 19-point game and 12 rebounds in game five. Hakeem had his game face on. The third quarter was the key to this one. The block on D, and he swatched the ball away again. Sets up the fast break and finishing off the fast break, Otis Thorpe, the beginning of a huge night for OT. More D by Hakeem, Ricky Pierce, no. The Rockets are off, Vernon Maxwell, Spots Kenny Smith. Smith spots up, nails the three, one of four on the night. Hakeem, not a very big night on offense, not needed. He scored 14, grabbed 10 rebounds. Off the inbounds, Vernon Maxwell, time winds down. He winds up, and it's good. Rockets outscore the Sonics 36-15 in the quarter. Hakeem had five blocks on the night. K. Smith takes 16 shots. He nailed 13 of them for a career playoff high 30. Rockets win it 103-90 along with hitting 13 of 16. Kenny Smith didn't turn the ball over once. Sean Kemp scored only one point, took only two shots. All five Rockets starters were in double figures. Earls unchecked, nails the three, and the Sonics lead by three at the end of three. Fourth quarter, the Rockets go to Akeem Olajuwon against the double team. Tied at 91. You gotta stop that, says George Carl. Akeem outside Robert Ory hits the two. Rudy T and the Rockets think they're going to stay on top. Not if Ricky Pierce can help it. The rainbow over Vernon Maxwell. It's 93 apiece. Rockets go for the final shot. Akeem swings it out to Vernon Maxwell. Kenny Smith for three. Clang, and it goes to overtime. Bad calls hurt Houston. The refs say the pass went off Robert Ory and out of bounds when Really, Sam Perkins just threw it away. Rudy T didn't like it, neither did Ori, but they have to keep playing. Still in OT, Seattle up by two. Sean Kemp hits the hook, and then Sam Perkins, the man with the experience. Five on the shot clock, Perkins turns, fade, fires, and he hit it! Sam Perkins drains the fallaway jumper! But it wasn't over. Houston gets within one, time running down. Maxwell decides he's gonna take it. Play, no good. Sean Kemp hits two free throws as Rudy Tomjanovich agonizes. Houston down three, last gasp. Akeem to tie it for the three-pointer. Air ball, end of season. 103-100, Seattle wins in overtime. The Sonics are now 4-0 all-time in playoff series against Houston. Akeem's numbers in the final game of a great season for him. 23 